up guys, e 94 back again with another action figure review. Today we are looking at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Black Panther Series 2. This is the Umbaku Build the Figure action figure review. Be sure to check out BigBadToyStore.com. They have the entire wave there. Uh, I, I do have some links down below in the description, so be sure to check those out. Alright, let's waste no time here. Let's go ahead and build him and check him out. Alright, so check it out. Here we have Umbaku built together. Fairly easy to get together. You only need six figures to complete this build. The figure, and just to name them, it's going to be Black Panther regular, the Vibranium Black Panther, the Ulysses Claw, Eric Killmonger, Dora Milaje, and T'Chaka. So props to Hasbro for making uh, a character like Umbaku. Never thought he would get a Marvel Legend release. Uh, it, it's nice to see them going after characters that aren't the main character of the movie. Alright, so taking a closer look at Mbaku here. Uh, very good paint apps, I must say. Uh, definitely better than what the paint job they did on the Dora Milaje figure, where it's lacking a, you know, in a few areas where they should have painted. This one seems to be mostly painted, which is nice. I do like this. So a lot, a lot of detail going on here. Even the fur has some good detail. The scope's very nice. I believe this is removable. It is. So there you go, it's just a peg hole on the back. So if you choose to remove that, you can do the so. Uh, down to the feet, or the legs, or the shins, however you want to say it. Uh, more detail, more paint, and it looks great. So this uh, skirt piece is a loose piece. I don't think it's removable, but it's just a nice little loose piece. It's not just connected. It can move around. Uh, and the face, so the likeness is there, I think. I think I see him. That, can't think of the name of the actor, but uh, the person that <laughs> plays the role of Mbaku, I think this looks like him. So, very cool. And he did show up in Infinity War. Maybe he'll show up again in uh, Endgame. So, this could be used in some more displays. And, of course, here is his staff. Uh, this is the only accessory he comes with. There's no alternate head or hands or any other piece of accessory. What you see here is what you get. As for his articulation, the head's going to swivel left and right. It's going to move up and down. It's on a bar jointed hinge. The arms go forward and back. They go in and out. We do get bicep swivels in there. Uh, we get double jointed elbows. Swivel at the wrist with a hinge. A diaphragm joint that swivels. Goes back a lot. And it goes forward. Decent amount. There is a diaphragm swivel. I don't think there is a waist swivel in there. I can't tell. Uh, there's going to be some ultra hindering on the legs. They're not really going to go forward or back too much. So we get a little bit there. In and out is a tiny bit. Really, it's nothing. So we can say that he isn't really poseable uh, from the uh, torso down. Uh, we can bend the knees. They are double jointed knees. But you only get a 90 degree bend out of it because of the skirt piece will hinder it. We do get a thigh swivel in there. Uh, we get ankle hinges forward and back and then we do get the ankle pivot. In terms of his height, let's get him compared next to the rest of the wave. We'll throw in T'Chaka first, the king goes first. So here we have T'Chaka. Here we have the enemy, Eric Killmonger. So still the build figure is towering over uh, everyone else and Killmonger is very tall. Uh, so at least this figure is very tall and M'Baku beat him out on this one. We have Claw here. And then we also do get the Vibranium uh, version of Black Panther. He's about the same height as the regular version. So we'll just throw in this one and that's it. And then lastly, to close it off, we have the Dora Milaje uh, right here. So, bye right, guys. And that's going to do it. I like this build figure a lot, actually. I'm, I'm just happy we have this character made. Uh, and we have quite the display for Black Panther. I mean, Black Panther's getting some love here, and um, I'm very happy with what they have uh, released so far in terms of uh, character choices and attire choices because this was a big one for me right here and for a lot of people, so very happy about that. And Umbaku is another great choice. Also, the Dora Milaje build the figure is also another great choice. So, good job Hasbro on this wave. I think I like it a little bit better than the first wave. The main downside of the figure is the amount of hindering going on. You can't really pose him dynamically. Uh, you're just going to have to vanilla pose him and that's what kills this guy. 
Uh, aside from that, the detail and the sculpt is pretty amazing for Hasbro. It's just the articulation that suffers even though it's all there. The Black Panther setup is coming together quite nicely now. Alright guys, so what do you guys think? Do you guys like this uh, build a figure? Do you not? Let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not done so already. And as always... Wakanda forever!